Okay, today is going to be the complete guide on how to set up Flurk. What the Flurk? <laughs> With NVIDIA Shield. And what we're going to be using is the one for all remote. This remote has been like, like for off brand remotes, one of the simplest and I think for me personally, one of the coolest remotes, the backlight works really, really good. Um, I did a video just recently, just kind of briefly talking about it. And I love it because it has all the stuff that you need. You could power on your device. You could power on your TV. You could switch the different HDMI ports, your back button, home, up, down, left, right. Okay. Uh, refresh or back your settings, pause, play backwards, forwards, volume, up, down, mute, uh, your pages page up down and then you could program these four essentially to whatever you want so for me something like this is all you really need I don't really do the voice thing and as far as like a keyboard like it's nice to have that keyboard but I'm actually okay with something like this um, and it's really 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 simple the only thing with this is Sometimes it doesn't work for the NVIDIA Shield. So what did I do? I purchased one of these called Flurk. And use your remote with your PC or set top box. So what you do is plug this little guy in and let's see how this works. Now we'll say this, like I have other USBs. Here's a jump drive. And this jump drive, there's a little bit of weight on it, not much. But this little guy weighs actually more than this big old guy. So um, you could feel the quality off of this thing. And it's crazy how small it is. So this is the first thing that we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and plug this in to my USB thing here. So it says we're setting up Flurk. Here we go. So setting it up. So it's doing its thing. And I'm guessing I'm supposed to have this remote nearby. Now, the one thing that you do do is you want to come here to the website called uh, Flurk. It's just flurk.tv. That's it. Um, you could also search for it. Really, really simple. So it says my device is ready to go from my Flurk device. This is interesting. So, um, yeah. So here's the box. There's nothing else that comes in it besides the USB. Very, very simple. And we're going to come down here and it says, you know, there's some blog stuff. There's a couple things here that you can do. So what we're going to do is, let's see, we're going to go to products. We're going to go to Flurk USB. We already have it ordered. So see, it says you can long, long press keys, macros, new hardware features. It gives you all the stuff here that you need to know. Now, when it comes to actually like setting up your stuff, see built in pairing modes. So it has anything that you want to do. So let's come here to bottom where it says downloads. I'm actually kind of surprised that at the top there isn't a downloads. There's support, blog, and products. So, but if you scroll all the way down, you're going to see here it says home, downloads, and support. For it's like, it's like everything on the top besides downloads. It's like, I don't know why they didn't do that. So I'm going to hit downloads and it has here, you know, it's asking you which, which product. So we got this one, Flirk USB, click on this. And we are in a window, so we're going to click Windows. So if you got Mac, Linux, that's what you do. And then you want to click on this, Windows Installer for Flirk. So click this box to accept terms. It turns blue. And then when you hover, it turns green. Select it. And here it is. It's now downloading. Now you will get a pop-up notification that says, are you sure that you want to do this? And once you do, you're going to get something like this that says, welcome to Flirk Setup. Just hit next, next. Um, I'm going to create a shortcut on the home page and then run Flirk. So finish and it's going to set it up. So install update. Go ahead and do whatever updates it needs. Ready to install, install it. And I'm going to get another pop up here that says just continue next install. And for whatever reason, it says Click abort to stop the installation or try it again. Uh, so there is some kind of issue. So I'm not really sure what's happening. But as you can see, there was an update and there it failed for whatever reason. So I'm going to click cancel. Do you want to upgrade? It's a firmware. I'm going to hit yes. And nothing happens. So, okay, let's go ahead and search for Flirk on my Windows. So it was a little bit of... 
some hoops of fire here. So I got that pop-up again. It says, did you want to update it? And I says, yeah. So it says firmware being updated. And my computer's kind of tripping out. It's saying like Flirk disconnected. Flirk is setting up. So it's running its process. But I wanted to show you guys there how you see like from installation, there is a little bit of an issue. I had to abort it, cancel. So now I'm doing this. Firmware success successfully upgraded. So I'm going to go ahead and hit go. And it says, press this one at the top. So I'm going to hit up, record it successfully, press the left button. So as you can see here, I'm doing it left, record successfully, down, successfully, successfully, and successfully. And the back button, I'm guessing it's going to be this one, recorded successfully. So congratulations, you are done. Now, according to this, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm 100% done. So... I should be able to, to hook this thing up to the NVIDIA shield. So let's go ahead and click and, and let, let's actually let's I'm going to I'm going to unplug this thing here and we're going to go over to my NVIDIA shield to see exactly how it works. So let's check it out. So I don't know if you saw that, but I the power I haven't set up the power button to work on this thing, but the, it actually works. It actually works. Um I'm moving it left and right. The only thing I will say though is the distance is not as good as I thought it would be. So I'm kind of curious if I if I take a step back to where I'm 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 going to be sitting down. The connection is not that good. As you can see, it's not that good. You need to be a lot closer than what it says. So look at this. I'm 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 th th this is where I sit down and it's not working. So Let's see how close I have to be. And I'm pointing directly right at my shield. And there it goes. So about midway through the through the room. I'm literally halfway in the room. And it's going. The second I step back, it doesn't work that well. So and this is where I'm sitting right here. Now I'm kind of curious if I if I were to actually move the remote um out. I thought it said 10 meters that this thing is. I might have to have some kind of extender. So that way the, the, the IR is exposed. So here it is right there. I'm going to leave the shield just dangling right there on the bottom. And if I move left or right, you can see it's actually moving. So if I do this, it works just fine all the way to where I'm at. And of course, my dog is very interested to what I'm doing. So I'm actually going to move a little further. And as you can see, it's actually picking it up. So the biggest thing on this remote is you have to have it, you, you have to have that USB receiver, um, you, the USB exposed so that way it can pick up the signal. So keep that in mind. Okay, before I let you guys go, I actually figured out how to program those macros or those buttons down here at the bottom. So I'm over here on my device and let's just say I want um, Disney Plus, and the way it works is with these four buttons here, we're going to do the play button here. So we're going to hold that play button until it blinks red. There it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to Disney Plus. I'm going to click on it. Once it opens up, now I'm going to hold that red button until it blinks green. There it goes. Green twice. Let go. I'm going to hit my home button to get out of there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and back up all the way here. I'm going to hit that button and that should be it. Now, the only thing that does that is a downer on this thing. So if you record the sequence, um, because it, what it does, it records all your sequences. So let's just say you're over here at at, at Disney. You're, you're like right on Disney Plus and I'm going to re-record that button right here. So I'm going to do this. It's going to blink red. And I'm going to click on Disney Plus right there. So there it goes. Now that it's opened, I'm going to long hold that so that way it goes green. There we go. So now it's recorded. Now here, here's the other, here's the only downside of stuff. If let's just say I'm over here searching through like all my apps. I'm just going through my apps and I'm just like, hey, I want to go to Disney Plus. If I do that, it's going to... It just recorded the answer button, so wherever I'm at, that's where it's going to go. So a little bit of a downer. I wish that it would just record 
the sequence to just the app. Like I, I want, I want to go just to the app. I don't want to go anywhere else. So it's a little bit tricky. You almost have to be like in on a very certain spot. So that way you're good all the time. Um, so a little bit of a downer on that one. I, you know, again, it's just going to record the steps of what you can do. Now there's a possibility that you probably could record it specifically to go to that app. I don't know. I haven't played with it that much yet to really, really find out. But as you can see, it's, it's, it it's not bad, but it's not great. It's not perfect. You know, I really wish that you could record those things to do what you know, wherever you want it to go. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm a little bit on the fence on it. I kind of wish that I would just click on whatever button I wanted to go for the app and boom, the app opens. Um, but it, it records the steps of get to the app. But the only problem is, is if you hit, like I know with, 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 with the shield, like if, if you keep hitting that back button, it's going to go all the way up to your home. So you have to record step down, step down, right, right. And then it hits. So most of the time, a lot of people don't do that when they hit the home button. Sometimes it just goes to the first app within the favorites. So yeah, it's, it's a little, it, 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 it's a little tricky, but I think if you figure it out on exactly how you want it, then you should be good to go. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, I try to get you guys some of the stuff here. Um, but it, it's, it's really not that bad. Let's come over to the computer. So that way you guys could see all the different types of remotes that you guys could set this up on. Okay, so now that we've seen that you could actually create the macros, which is, you know, it's kind of neat. I, I really wish I could just hit the button and it knows exactly which app I want to go to. You have to be in a very specific location on your device for it to do this. So let's go ahead and look at this thing real quick. So this is the, the, the remote and you can go to controllers. You got your channels. So you have all different types of options. You have your NVIDIA Shield, like the original NVIDIA Shield uh, remote. Then you got the next gen, which is kind of cool because I think I probably will use this. They don't have a home button, so I'm not really sure how that would work. I, you know, I, if I hit home, I want it to go back to the NVIDIA Shield home. So yeah, kind of interesting here, but the cool thing, well, it does have a home button here, but the cool thing is, is that you could, it tells you here exactly what every single button does. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably, I'll, I'll, this one says Netflix. So I'm guessing it's going to go directly to Netflix, but here you got your PS4. Uh, you got your full keyboard again, you got boxy. So you got, you got all different types of stuff here to use all different types of, of remotes. I really do wish some of these did have like a Disney plus or stuff like that. So that way I can like media keys that way I can control it. This one has the fire TV, but this is like an old, old remote. <laughs> um, I, you know, you don't see the buttons down there at the bottom. So here's your Xbox. And here's your Flirk Streamcom edition. So I probably would do a couple of these things just for the heck of it, just to see if it works. Redo. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully that does it. So what, what I have to do is I'm going to have to like erase everything. So so here's the other thing too. Like, you know, like this, this is one thing I'm trying out. So when I do hit the home button, it didn't work. So if I click on this and if I hit that, it says button already exists. So I have to redo it. And again so it doesn't let you redo it so i have to hit cancel so i have to erase click the button on your remote you want to be erased on so erase the button so i just clicked on this thing and erase the button so now i'm going to hit home click on this record it successfully so hopefully that does the trick i'm hoping that does the trick um this one is my menu so it should be this button up here and yeah it's going to say i already have it here so i'm going to hit erase I'm going to click on that button, erased, click on this, and paired. So hopefully this will fix some of this stuff. I don't know. We'll see. The one thing I noticed is this plus minus sign, it doesn't light up. So I don't know if I have to hit, if I have to hold it and it blinks or something. I don't know. I don't see nothing working. So I'm kind of curious to see what it is. If I hit this thing here, it's not even registering the plus minus. So very interested to see why it's doing that why it's not picking it up but other than that 
remote looks pretty good. It works pretty good. Uh, the macros are fine. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Everything everything on this remote looks good. I think I just have to mess with the macros just a little bit so that way I have it exactly how I want it. But other than that, I think it's going to be a great remote for us to use. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think. It has a lot of cool stuff. I, I, I wish they could. I, you know, I really do wish they had an area here where it says this button will open up Netflix. This button will open up Hulu. If you can do that... On this thing, hands down will be the best remote possible with no barriers whatsoever. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I do apologize the video is a little lengthy, but I had to show you guys everything and everything that you absolutely need to know. Yeah, with all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.